Today we're going to be exploring ancient portals found all over the earth. 12 locations globally so far, finding the exact same suspended style boulder in the well-known one in Norway, Cyprus. Five locations in Bulgaria alone. Four across the USA. South Africa. It's just, the list goes on and on. And I'm going to explore one for myself. I want to see it firsthand. It's unlikely to be due to any kind of natural formation. No sort of water levels rising and moving the rock into the gap and all of these things that scientists claim could be possible reasons on the other sites at this site it's very unlikely it's not a hugely hugely touristy location so it's quite untouched even after all these years come and explore with me i'm orchid keep watching for more and don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of stuff if you've seen any more i want to know down below please send me the location send me where you saw it and i'm going to build that list up even more hey everyone so we made it we're in What's really interesting about this place is it looks as if this is man-made, to be honest. It doesn't look like a natural formation in the middle of the wild. You've got a hike sort of two hours up the mountain. This is what the path is like getting there. It's absolutely beautiful. 1,400 meters above sea level. So we're quite high up. You can sort of feel your ears pop, the oxygen definitely feels a lot denser. On the other side of this, right there, looks like it could have been a failed attempt at that rock. At the sides of these rocks over here, you can even see that they've almost been chipped away. A lot of the rock is smooth, but then you go to the edges and you see markings. So potentially, it could suggest that this little cavey area, in order to divide here and here, is actually also just man-made and carved. The flooring, as you can see here, is quite smooth. And then the sides, you can see, have a lot of indentation, as if they've been sort of just hacked at. Something else we've got to keep in mind is that, say it is only a few thousand years old and not even much more than that. Even then, you know, we're told and we know that people were very much hunting for their food. They had built up some agricultural places, but, you know, this, this place has no access to much water at all. Uh, agriculture here wouldn't exactly be the best place. And why? Why would a society invest in producing something like this unless there is a good reason. If people were dying young, if people were starving, if people hardly were able to survive, as we're told, why would they put all of their effort, the fuel that they have, the strength that they have into carving and suspending huge boulders in between man-made cliff face rock? It's a good question, I think. What do you guys think? As for why, there are a few things that we can think about. So the name doesn't give us that much of a hint. It's called Karaja... Karajov? How do you pronounce his name? Karajov Kamak. Karajov Kamak. I've been told just the name and then rock after it. There are, however, local myths that this place is haunted so we don't know if those sort of myths were there to deter people from you know coming up here or if there are ancient myths that sort of got passed down there are also some myths that state that this is actually a portal uh, into another dimension or into parallel un universes uh, and that the rock is sort of the bridge between the two so who knows maybe if you come here on the summer solstice or the winter solstice uh, at a certain time of the year or a certain vibration 
maybe maybe you experience something mystical in terms of vibration you know this is now the end of july and the solstices have passed but it feels different there is a vibration here there is a sort of feeling here that you you don't find everywhere i knew i had to brave the steps and see what it was like at the top in order to suspend the rock like this whoever created it must have carved it at the top and then pushed it down it had to be just the right size in order to not go through the gap maybe that one at the end really is a failed attempt the amount of time strength that a feat like this would take is truly remarkable the views are breathtaking but after that climb up, I'm starting to understand why the locals call this place the place of the dead. Archaeologists claim that the Thracians once used this site to perform ritualistic acts and worship their gods. But they're unsure, however, if this place is a natural formation, if the Thracians built it, or if, potentially, it could long predate the Thracians by thousands and thousands of years. We're also told that these holes were carved in the rock for the Thracians to make or offerings to their dead. They'd leave something there for them to take back to the underworld. But you do find carved holes like this on tops of mountains and huge rock formations all over the world. So they may have been there in order to collect rainwater. As I look across the sea of mountains, I can't help but wonder why. Why ancient people even came this high up? What were they in search of? Why would they build a base here? Why would they leave any source of water supply and make a pilgrimage like this so high, so risky? What were they in search of? On the way down, we came across a local guy who asked us if we planned to spend the night and sleep up there at the rock. Confused, we answered no. Is that something that people usually do? And he told us that not only people go and stay there, either for the reason of potentially seeing something extraterrestrial, but also there have been those who claim that if you sleep at the rock, you're healed of any sickness that you have. But what I found particularly interesting was he told us that Every 14 to 15 days, so twice a month, there are scientists that come and spend the night there. And not only are they spending the night there, but apparently they're taking observations and scans and things like this of the local space. I just found that a bit strange, like, why would they be there twice a month, every month? What exactly are they trying to find? 